Hi everyone! I am here today with a video on my five cool weather fashion essentials. I live in Toronto, Canada and we're well into the fall season, but I'm not quite ready to bust out my winter coat, my parka, my toque, my mittens. I have a few key pieces that I gravitate towards all the time as we transition from fall to winter. Temperatures during the fall season in Toronto can vary quite a bit. I'm going to be talking about temperatures from 0 to 2 degrees, up to around 10 to 12 degrees. This isn't really a fashion video, it's more of a utilitarian video. How to extend the wear of some of your pieces so you can still feel stylish while keeping warm. The first essential item in my cool weather wardrobe is Uniqlo Heat Tech. I have several of these tops, but the one I gravitate towards the most is the extra warm version. This is a key piece for me because I can wear it in a whole bunch of different situations. I can wear it as a casual piece. I've worn it to work in a conservative office environment. I can wear it by itself and it looks really good. It's not see-through. And I can wear it as a layering piece. I were to go outside with this chunky sweater on and it was around five or six degrees. I might feel really cold if I didn't have something underneath. So this is something that I would typically throw on underneath a chunky sweater just for that extra layer of warmth. Then I could throw on a crossbody bag and a pair of jeans and be all set. I wouldn't have to put on a jacket because I have this extra layer underneath. The next item I'm going to talk about is cashmere. This is a cashmere turtleneck from Lord & Taylor. It's in this charcoal color and I could easily wear this under a blazer and feel perfectly warm in 6-7 degree weather. This I can also dress up or down. I've worn it very casually. I've worn it to the office and I've worn it to events. The next item I'm going to talk about is also from Uniqlo and it is this light down jacket. This is an essential for me because I like to wear this under my leather jackets and my jean jackets to get a little more wear out of those items in the shoulder season. Sometimes I feel like the weather in Toronto goes from really hot to being really cold and you don't have a lot of time to wear your transitional pieces like your leather jackets and your jean jackets and even your light wool jackets. This is really helpful with that. You don't get too warm because because this is a very light layer and you're also not adding a lot of bulk because again this is very light and very thin down. Next up I want to talk about fleece line tights. I got these from YesStyle and they are a game changer. Even in one or two degree weather I'm able to wear a lot of my skirts because I have these to keep me warm. I'm outside a lot because I tend to walk everywhere and those little thin tights just don't do it for me, my legs get too cold. These are a little bit on the bulkier side, but they are so soft and they keep you so warm. I love wearing this with my pleated skirts, my accordion skirt, and also some of my poofy skirts. It's really nice to be able to extend the life of my skirts into cooler weather because I have these. The last item I wanna talk about is an absolute essential for me, and that is a blanket scarf. This keeps me very warm, and I think it's very fashionable and on trend as well, although the Aritzia blanket scarf have been around for ages and I've built up a decent collection of them. I like to wear this wrapped up around my neck of course and also as a shawl. It's very versatile and definitely a go-to piece once the cooler weather hits. That is it for my five cool weather essentials. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any cool weather essentials that you like to reach for when the temperatures dip down. I am not quite ready for winter, so I'm going to extend my fall wardrobe as long as I can. I'd like to avoid wearing my heavy coats and my toques and my mittens for as long as possible. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back very soon with another one. Until then, please take care and bye for now.